Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial uh, video about Solid Edge, uh, I will start. I will do what practice for beginners, and this is video number nine in this practicing videos. Uh, in this video, as you can see, we need to accomplish or to build this part here. And uh, actually, this part is not that difficult to do. And I will do it also. I will do that uh, video in, in two parts. The first part, how to to draw the part itself and then the second part will be how to because i got a lot of feedback about a lot of reviewers uh, asking me about how to choose the size of the paper and how to get the draft sheet how to put the dimensions and all these type of things so i will cover that in another video that it's gonna follow this part i'm gonna call it uh, part b so i'm gonna have part a practice for beginners nine part a and part b and uh, in this uh, part B also would like to learn more about how can I get auxiliary views and detail view and so on. Okay, uh, I will explain it. So in this video, as you can see, I'm going to start the way I'm going to start actually is I have, this is isometric. This is the top view. This is the front view and this is the right side view. And this is an auxiliary view AA and this is a detail view for the area here because it's just too small to put the dimensions here and so on okay so the way I'm going to do it I'm going to start from the base so means that I lock myself to the top plane and start with the base with the base and then after I go with the base up how much 12 millimeter and after that create the holes and then lock myself to the top plane here of the base and put another one a rectangle by uh, center put it exactly in the center here and uh, oriented 30 degrees with the horizontal okay so and then and then lock myself to the plane here and then move forward uh, you will see it so without uh, without ever uh, do uh, let's move to solid edge and get the uh, make the part so let's go to solid edge when you open solid edge and you run it this is the opening uh, uh, page and what you need to do is just you go new and the new again so now it gives you the different uh, standard tom templates so the, my default is nc metric but if you want to nc inch or whatever or then or different standard choose the standard you would like okay so nc metric since the dimension are in millimeter so I will go to Ansymmetric and they click on the part and I say OK. So now I'm in the, in the part uh, domain. I'm going to choose one of the drawing tool and I'm going to choose what? Rectangle by center. Is it rectangle by center? Yes. OK. So first, before I do anything here, I'm going to move my mouse to the top plane. When I see the lock, I'm going to click on the lock. This means that any drawing is going to be in the top plane. So now let's put the dimension for the, the uh, rectangle. So which will be 90. And the other one will be 60. And the angle is 0 is fine. And then what I'm going to do is go back here. And I'm going to choose the top plane. And now go back to the center here. And I'm going to click on the center, double click. OK. Oh, it is done already. Get out of here, escape. OK, so I got the, the rectangle by center and the dimension, as I mentioned, that is what is 60 by. It is 60 and the other one should be 90. OK. OK, good. I'm going to go to home and either I can use a select or extrude to do the extrusion. Select is the easy way and the quick way. Uh, extrusion, just you have to choose a, a variable. So I'm going to show you how to do it by select and then I will show you later how to do it by the extrusion. So I'm going to click, you choose select, click on the area here. You will see the stuff. It came the same menu for the extrusion and this click on the arrow any arrow will do it 
doesn't have to be symmetry so now I need the dimension to be 12 so I'm gonna put 12 enter so I got this one I got the base okay the next step I'm gonna choose round and I need the round here at the edge here I'm gonna click at the edge and I need this edge to be 10 so I'm gonna put 10 then I go to the other edge here click on it it's going to be 10 the other edge here and when you move your mouse inside here so you'll see the edge click on the edge of it is hidden and it will come okay so now I'll go back to the top and choose rectangle by center uh, sorry circle by center and, and uh, the first diameter is 20 Oh, 10 sorry 10 enter and what I'm gonna do is you move so I'm gonna lock myself to the top and then you move to the center here of the curve you put it there okay good the next uh, circle by center is 15 I'm gonna put 15 enter and I'm gonna highlight the circle and go to the the center of the circle when I see concentric I'm gonna click so this way I draw only one one uh, hole or one location of the circle now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna go to the home and I'm gonna choose either I can do it by select or by extrude I'm gonna use extrude this time okay so extrude I need to do a cut okay a cut and this one I'm gonna use it chain or single this one so I'm going to click on the circle here and I want to go on the arrow go down so I'm going to make the hole so I, as long as you go up beyond the length so I create the hole now I'm going to create again extrude I'm going to click on the other outside circle make a hole a cut and just check on the arrow and go down three millimeters. I'm gonna put three millimeters, sorry. So I finish with one of the holes in the corner. Now I will choose the, the, the pattern to get the rest of the three and the four. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to, to the top plane. I'm gonna use select, so I can select this hole here. I'm gonna highlight everything in the hole within the hole and then click on pattern and you choose rectangular so once you choose a rectangular is it's going to identify the center of the rectangular pattern will be with the hole here so either you can go this way okay so what i'm going to do is you move your mouse till it touch the curve here when it touch the curve it go to the center of this curve click and what happened is it give you uh, the default or whatever I used last time so it's going to be two by two this is exactly what I have looked for but at the same time it's giving you the different alternative could be either three by two or three by three and so on so now you choose whatever you prefer so I need two by two so I'm going to say accept once I say accept I have the the better to the next step is then I'm going to go back to home okay and skip i need to create uh, the top here the, the top part like as you can see it here i need to create this top part and i want to make it what 25 by 40 oh i don't i forgot with the 40 here this is a 40 i'm gonna put it okay so now we're gonna say okay uh go to solid edge i'm gonna say rectangle by center and this rectangle by center I need to put it in the top here in this top plane so I'm gonna click here and put the diameter the width is 40 and the other one is 25 and I'm gonna go logo to the top plane and oh okay and the angle I'm gonna choose the angle also 30 degrees okay so now it has an orientation 30 degree and I'm gonna go put the, the rectangle by center exactly in the center of the shape okay so now I got it so go to home click on extrude
okay chain good i'm gonna click on this one plus okay click on the arrow to go up and i need to go up six millimeter i'm gonna put six very good so i got the 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 the, the, the base for the other one for the top part now i need to lock myself to this face here so i can do what so i can draw this shape here so i can extrude it 25 millimeter okay so let me go to solid edge to, to to lock myself to this one so i'm going to choose one of the tools so i'm going to say circle by center circle no okay i'm going to use circle by uh, tangent circle i'm going to show you that trick okay tangent circle okay okay now let me uh, orient my plane okay now let me i need to lock myself to this plane okay so i'm going to click on the f3 i'm gonna lock myself to this guy okay now let me orient myself so i locked myself you see f3 means i locked myself to this plane now i need to look to this plane as perpendicular to my face so now so this way i can see it good so get a circle tangent circle tangent circle and i need this tangent circle is 40. and and I need this tangent to start from the point here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom. So it allow me to be in the, in, the, in, the, in the right place. Okay, so now I'm going to say circle, tangent, circle. And I need this one, diameter is 40. Enter. And I need to start exactly from that point here. Okay, so I'm going to go up, 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 up. Why this many? This, oh, okay, me the other thing. So let me let me let me redo it. Okay, escape. Tangent circle. So I'm gonna say what? Okay, I'm gonna be tangent at this location here. No, 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 no. Okay. Let me undo. Okay, just let me. Just me. okay okay so now now the now i need to do a tangent but it's going to be at the location here so circle tangent circle i need to start exactly here at the middle here that's the location of the middle you see you see the symbol for the middle i'm going to click here and then it's going to go and i make this diameter is 40. I'm gonna click and let me make it fit. Oh, sorry. Let me make sure that the dimension didn't change. So this should be forty. It is forty. Okay. The next step, I need to make a circle inside. So circle by center. And this circle is 20. I'm going to put 20. Highlight the circle and go inside the center of the circle. It should be somewhere here. Highlight the circle. Okay. When I say I see this uh, concentric, I'm gonna click. Okay, so now this is, I was able to get this one here. So the next step is I'm gonna just turn it around a little bit so I can see it better. Okay, not this one here, okay. Perfect, okay. Now let's get a line. I'm gonna start from the tip here. I'm gonna go inside nine millimeter so i'm gonna get nine nine millimeter and then enter 
and then go up five millimeter vertical when i see the vertical i'm gonna put put five enter and it is vertical okay and then go horizontal when i see the symbol horizontal i can click enter and okay now i go to trim get the extra line here sorry and get rid of this one okay very good i want to do also a mirror of this cut here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say mirror select this part here and say mirror about this axis here very good i didn't see the intersection here so how to fix that i'm going to go to the connect highlight the edge of this line and highlight the circle now it is connected okay go to trim get rid of this one we are fine and get rid of this one too okay so now i was able to draw the shape on the same plane on the plane here okay the next step is just i can do select click in the inside the area here and make it plus i'm gonna add and click on the arrow to the other direction and this should be 25 and what's left now is just one thing one small thing which is round i'm gonna go to this edge here and I want this edge to be two, two millimeter. And I'm going to rotate it to the other side again and do the same edge here. Okay, that's perfect. So this actually will end the, the video for this one. In the next video, which is part B, I will go over the detail of how to get the draft sheet how to get the projection, how to get the auxiliary view and the detail view and the size of the paper and so on. So just be, uh, 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 just be, just follow the channel and you will get, uh, uh, it's going to be soon, maybe in a week or so, uh, less than a week, it should be posted. Part B for practice for beginners, uh, number nine, part B. This will end the session for part A or practice for beginner number nine, part A. And I hope that you like this video. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for watching the video and I would love to hear your feedback. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, uh, click the bell and give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day and see you soon on the next part, part B of this video. Bye-bye.